Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my photography channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Moore. I'm an outdoor photographer. Um, I do a little bit of macro work, landscape work, and a, a bit of everything else to be honest with you. And uh, today, um, I, uh, I'm trying something a little bit different. A few weeks ago, Yongyi Optics reached out to me after watching my photography videos on YouTube. They asked if I'd be interested in trying out uh, a new lens they were shortly releasing to market and uh, being a 200 millimeter f4 macro lens um, and its release was scheduled for the end of july so i said yes and um, after a couple of weeks of waiting um, i received in the post uh, this uh, very nice zongyi optics uh, 200 millimeter f4 apo macro lens with uh, one times magnification and uh, yeah, this, uh, this little video is my uh, first impressions really about this lens. According to Zongyi Optics, the 200mm f4 macro lens is designed for macro photography enthusiasts and professionals. So it was nice to think that they considered me as at least one of those things. Uh, the lens itself um, is well constructed. It's uh, an all metal build um, and it includes a removable uh, lens hood and a, a metal tripod collar as well. The lens uh, itself feels very, very solid and, and well made. However, um, my copy of the lens has a, a bit of play in the focusing ring. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that's normal, but um, I suspect this is a, a, an issue with the sample I received and not in any way indicative of the lens which will go out to um, Joe Public to purchase. Compared to my Pentax 100mm 2.8 macro lens, this one weighs 340 grams, super light. This lens is much heavier. It comes in at 1.2 kilos. Uh, it is really substantially heavy as a lens. It features uh, manual focus um, and it has no electronic contacts. So there is no feedback from the lens back to the camera body. The aperture starts at F4 and uh, it goes all the way down to F32 and it's selected by you, the photographer. Um, there's no uh, in-camera settings for uh, your aperture control, it's purely manual. It's very tactile, it's got a lovely soft click. The light transmission through the glass um, is very, very low, unfortunately. Um, and when I've combined this with my Pentax K1, um, the focusing is actually really difficult through the live view and also through the viewfinder. And so an accurate focus is a real difficulty. Uh, the lens offers a true one-to-one -one magnification. Um, which basically means the, the size of the subject, as you see in the back of the viewfinder or on the LCD screen, is the size of the subject is going to be captured on the sensor. The key selling point probably for this lens uh, is its working distance. At 200 millimeter, uh, it allows you to be much further from your subject than a, a more traditional macro lens. Um, so you're less likely to scare away the, the skittish insects um, and whatnot. Uh, it also means that you can photograph the insects which bite and sting from a much more comfortable distance. There's less chance of being stung or, or bitten uh, by those insects. The lens focuses as close as 14 centimeters from the subject when you have the metal lens hood attached. And without the metal lens hood attached, you're looking at around about 28 centimeters. The focus ring has clear markings on it and it's very easy to move one end of the focus ring to the other. It should make focusing at small increments quite easy. The lens also benefits from a 67mm filter thread and comes with an included all metal tripod collar at the bottom which is Arca Swiss compatible so it's fairly universal for most tripods. Due to the weight of the lens and its manual focus nature it's best to use this lens with a tripod. Hand holding it while manually focusing proved very challenging for me. It's a lens that requires a deliberate and patient approach in order to capture focus and get your subject you know, sharp. Uh, the shallow depth of field at f4 um, was really difficult to achieve constantly sharp results when using my Pentax K1. Um, and when stopping down to f8 and f12, uh, getting res sharper results was easier, but then resulted in a much darker viewfinder. It should be noted that the Pentax K mount isn't actually one of the official mounts supported by Zongyi. However, they offered to convert it to the K-Mount for this review. Overall, when focus is actually achieved with this lens, it does produce really good sharpness at the center of the frame, but softens towards the edges, which for me actually is something I rather like in the images I produce. The focus throw is long, and although this should aid in the precision of focusing, um, it, it feels like it lacks the fine tuning it requires. And, and especially at such a thin depth of field of f4 at 200 millimeters, it's 
there isn't the precision there. The lens is a 200mm focal length, that's its key selling point. It provides a comfortable working distance for macro photography, especially for subjects that are skittish or sting and bite. The lens delivers a shallow depth of field, effectively isolating the subjects and creating a pleasantly blurred background. And with its APO designation, the optics really minimise chromatic aberrations and colour fringing, resulting in images with minimal colour distortion and a very good, accurate representation of the colour. So what are my considerations and final thoughts on this lens? Well, the lens lacks weather sealing and or any special coatings, which means it's quite subject to flare in bright lighting conditions, and there's no data transfer between the lens body and the camera itself. However, I suspect that's why it's reflected in the price at $499. The lens compensates for this in its tactile usage and all metal build. The lens demands effort and time for the photographer, and it's not for those who are seeking quick results point and shoots, maybe not so much. This lens is for photographers who enjoy a methodical hands-on approach to photography and this lens will reward them with pleasing images given the patience and dedication it requires. For macro photography specifically, the additional working distance is what sets its lens apart from its competition. There really isn't much else on the market at 200mm. I think when used with a modern mirrorless camera with all the macro aids they have nowadays, then I think this lens will really shine. For me, it was a mixed bag of frustrations and rewards, with the rewards being very pleasing images when the focus was achieved, and the frustration was born more out of the, my aging Pentax K1 than the lens itself, I think. The lens is now on sale in all of the major camera mounts, and you can pick it up from eBay or directly from Zongyi's website directly. Here are some of the images I've managed to capture using this lens for my Pentax K1. I hope you enjoyed this little review and the images produced, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care all.